Inoxaparin. Anticoagulant medications. 1981 and approved for medical use in 1993. Inoxaparin is made from heparin. Low molecular weight heparins. Other medicine in inoxaparin class. Daltaparin, Fondaparinex, and Tinzaparin. Medical uses. One treatment of unstable angina UA and non-Q wave myocardial infarction. ME administered concurrently with aspirin. Unstable angina is chest pain that is sudden and often gets worse over a short period of time. To DVT prevention in knee replacement surgery. 3 DVT prevention in hip replacement surgery. For DVT prevention in abdominal surgery. 5 treatment of DVT with or without pulmonary embolism. 6 treatment of DVT in patient with street segment elevation, myocardial infarction STEMI. Note deep vein thrombosis. DVT is the formation of a blood clot in a deep vein, most commonly in the legs or pelvis. Side effects of anoxaparin. 1. Thrombocytopenia that is can be associated with heparin-induced thrombocytopenia of persons treated for at least 5 days to elevations in serum aminotransferases. 3. In people undergoing abdominal or colorectal surgery. Bleeding, anemia, ecchymosis. For in persons undergoing hip or knee replacement. Fever, nausea, anemia, edema, peripheral edema. 5. In people being treated for deep vein thrombosis. Injection site hemorrhage, injection site pain, hematuria. Contraindications of anoxaparin should be used with extreme caution in conditions with increased risk of hemorrhage, such as bacterial endocarditis, congenital or acquired bleeding disorders, active ulcerative and angiodysplastic, gastrointestinal disease, hemorrhagic stroke, or shortly after brain, spinal, or ophthalmological surgery. Dosage of anoxaparin. The defined daily dose is 2,000 units. Dose equivalence and conversion. 1 mm equivalent to 100 units. Inoxaparin use in pregnancy. Not known to be harmful, low. Molecular weight heparins do not cross the placenta. Multidose vial contains benzyl alcohol avoid. Monitoring requirements. Heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. Platelet counts should be measured just before treatment with unfractionated or low molecular weight heparin and regular monitoring of platelet counts may be required if given for longer than four days hyperkalemia plasma potassium concentration should be measured in patients at risk of hyperkalemia before starting the heparin and monitored regularly thereafter particularly if treatment is to be continued for longer than seven days cautions elderly risk of bleeding severe hypertension Low body weight increased risk of bleeding, obesity increased risk of thromboembolism. Unlicensed use of anoxaparin, not licensed for treatment of venous thromboembolism in pregnancy. Mechanism of action, anoxaparin binds to and potentiates antithrombin a circulating anticoagulant to form a complex that irreversibly inactivates clotting factor XA. It has less activity against. Factor E a thrombin compared to unfractionated heparin of due to its low molecular weight. Thanks for watching.